Hey, what's going on, everybody? You all spoke. You all made your voices heard, and we're going to be playing as Australia. I'm not just content to play as Australia. Someone gave me the very interesting suggestion. Why don't you shatter the world? So I designed this little mod, shatter the world. This is an interesting thing. So we can either enable or disable core revocation. The way I see it is uh, if that if they still had cores, then what would be the point? We're gonna revoke cores and we're gonna shatter the world. Yeah, so like you get some weird tags. Like Heavenly Kingdom exists. You know, we got all of India. Australia is a uh, is good and bad. It's good because we're right in Asia, but it's bad because our culture will never expand. Any country in the new world that has someone with their borders, you can just expand your culture like rapidly to like lands you conquer. You can't really do that as Australia. Because the world is so cursed like this, the nationalities are in a better position than they are in the base game. So people don't migrate as much. Bam, we're going for Brunei, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the Australian war machine is really going crazy. Jeremy Mundy, this guy blows. Minus one attack? Come on, man. I mean, we only start out with 100,000 pops. I'll be really interested to see how many pops we have by the end of the game. I'm sorry, Brunei. We lost Jeremiah, or Jeremy. Yeah, let's get Winston DeRobuck in here. Yeah, there we go. Australian Brunei. Oh man, look at all these. <laughs> look at all these wars going on. Yeah, acquisition of Dutch Java, French Tunis. New England liberation of American New England. Oh, they got the Manhattan Commune. And I love the Cherokee. They just be chilling here. Even though they don't have any cores. These are, this is uncored land by any country. Yeah, this is going to be a weird game, guys. <laughs> 7th Great Powers PLC. Even though New Zealand is not like at all worth taking in this, I'm still gonna do it because they're at least provinces of our culture. I never noticed this, Norfolk Island. What happens here do you think? Hey, look at that, we just got to secondary powers. Now we can colonize. Colonize this and colonize the North Island, which will just, you know, that'll be good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the crises in this game are gonna be crazy, I'm sure. PLC wants to liberate Romania or something. I mean, have you ever seen a crisis between the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth and Spain? Probably not. Yeah, 17 infamy for what? 12? <laughs> 12K? Yeah, probably not the best decision I've ever made. Damn. Bye bye New Zealand. Hello, Australia. It might be worth going to South Africa. South Africa just has a bunch of British pops living there. Yugoslavia just gets released. And Australian province names are truly something. The illustrious city of Wagga Wagga. American Civil War. Looks like the Confederates are getting toasted as always. But, <laughs> whoa. What? <laughs> The AI, the AI won't colonize this because I think technically Colombia has cores over here, which is, you know, just strange. Bam, the Eastern Cape. It's like somebody took a box of crayons and they left them out in a hot car. And this is what, this is what happens. Oh yeah, Scandinavia exists by the way, in case you forgot. Oh yeah, I think Denmark, yeah, look at this. So Denmark, their capital is now in Accra, which is just delightful. They have two provinces now, St. Tomas in the Danish West Indies and uh, Accra. And also I think I'm going to, uh, I think we're gonna take over all these guys. The funniest part is, is I've just been watching Orange sit here trying to ally me while our justification goes up and up. I feel like becoming a first or secondary great power is also just way more competitive 
with a shattered world because they're just all these countries vying for this these kinds of positions oh let's go transvaal come on oh more gold wow all right here we go oh there we go okay so now we can start colonizing we're gonna get zimbabwe hopefully botswana we're gonna have a, a comfy little colony here in southern africa why is our socialist party not full citizenship that's awful Tahiti is here in New Caledonia, but it's also here. That's strange. Oh, we're eighth grade power. Africa evidently is going to push us over the edge. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Hey, we're a great power. Can we get the Valley of Kings? Yes, we can. Even though we aren't the UK, we are kind of uh, reenacting the UK experience. All we'd have to do next is go to India. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we got a core province in South Africa. So presumably they'll just spread out now. Wow, I'm incredibly surprised by how much of Africa we are getting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, 25% of our country is African minor. Crisis over the liberation of Mongolia. Yes. <laughs> we are getting like no immigrants. What the hell? It says, look at, oh, USA, 5,000, us, eight. Look at that though. I mean, that, that is something, all right. Wow, the Heavenly Kingdom westernized. So that means, oh yeah, look at that now. Now they even we're getting immigrants now. France, in this mod, the only thing they lose is uh, Alsace-Lorraine. And like a tiny, shitty Germany is obviously never going to actually contest them. So I think just France wins. Do we have a full citizenship party that's any good? No, we don't. God, Australia sucks. And look at that. Was it worth it? Ah, uh, it remains to be seen. Bye bye, South Africa. Bam, Australia and Africa. Oh, we can build the Suez? Oh man, I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, we have, we have been a better Britain than Britain is. Denmark, <laughs> Denmark is a new world nation now. No, they're not getting any immigrants. That's so sad. Oh, he got waltzing Matilda. Nice. Yeah, let's, let's attack Wangxi. Wow, we finally... 1901, and we finally get another focus point. Well, it's time to finish off Guangxi. And then we'll go to Yunnan. Established protectorate on Yunnan. No way this can go wrong. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be free? Dude, free like 15 million pops or whatever. That's busted. We just killed 100,000 people in that battle. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so the Radical Party is not letting us tax people, really. You know what? The Radical Party is not so bad. Go free market. Go absolutely buck wild. Save us from irrelevance. Yeah, we'll, we'll take uh, Gansu. Yeah, that's that's what this is what you might not like it. This is what peak performance looks like. You know what? I think we're keeping the Radical Party in charge for as long as we can. They're our only full citizenship party, and they're all about freedom liberty all that fun stuff so we went from the 22nd industrial power to the 20th things seem to be improving this is the only campaign i think i've ever had where anarcho liberals work <laughs> like at any point <laughs> oh that's beautiful that is beautiful that's what i like to see 
I should have had the anarcho-liberals in charge this whole time. The anarcho-liberals rule in this one very specific case. Normally they suck, but this is this is the time when they shine. Look, now we're 17th industrial power. Oh man, fascists? Well, they're not in Australia. They're all, <laughs> oh my God, Chinese fascists. It hasn't gotten any better. I thought it would be getting better. It's only gotten worse. It's just more confusing now. Our population is crazy. But why are people leaving? External immigration. We got, we got British people leaving? That's not cool, man. Oh, they're not getting enough life needs. Yeah, evidently with this whole free market thing, everyone's starving. I thought we'd go ahead and snag Tibet out of this just, just for fun. Does not look like that can happen. But look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. Look at Switzerland. Switzerland's killing it over here. We will colonize Washington and Oregon. <laughs> yes. Australian USA. I mean, we, we really did make a, uh, a global empire here. Oh my god, yeah, look at Germany. 93. 93% fascist in Germany. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna call it here. Let's look around a little bit. We did pretty well. 44 million population, not bad. The Africa move, I think, was a good one. And then obviously going into Asia was extremely profitable for us. Uh, we also got this little guy up here. We haven't stated it yet. I'm glad that there wasn't any uncolonized territory by the end of the game, but that is quite funny to me. Oh yeah, we got like all of the Pacific. We got Easter Island, we got Tahiti, we got Fiji, we got New Caledonia, and we turned it all into full states. We all colonized it and everything. It's great. Yeah, India's a mess. And the reason why it's a mess is because all of these Indian miners are in the Japanese sphere of influence. Otherwise, I would suspect India could just come up and you know trounce all these guys and become a GP, but instead they're stuck at like 13. The Empire of China, they get by foreign, and then they get Manchurian. They have Manchurian as their primary culture, and then Nanfarin is an accepted, or Beifarin is an accepted culture. Heavenly Kingdom kind of unlocks China's potential because you get Nanfarin and Beifarin as accepted cultures. So that, like, you become really overpowered, I would think. Even though this is like half of China, they're still really, really powerful. Yeah, Switzerland went crazy, dude. Yugoslavia took Albania. It wasn't very nice of them. Why is Armenia a fascist dictatorship? Who let this happen? Yeah, third most populous country. Number one number of provinces. Wow. Oh, and communist Spain has slaves again. So does Paraguay, which is also communist. If you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And leave a comment down below of what countries or games you'd like to see me play next. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.